Welcome. Thanks for joining me for a special Thanksgiving Scratch Junior Draw and Code. Uh, we're going to do a series of these drawing and coding activities on Scratch Junior. So when you go in, start a new program, hit the plus as always. We're going to get rid of the cat. So click and hold and hit the X. Go right to the backgrounds and scroll down. You're going to pick the farm background. Double click that and put the farm background on the back. Now we're going to hit the plus to add a character, blank page, and paintbrush. First character we're going to make is a turkey. You might have noticed some turkeys when I went to select my character. So I like to use the circle tools, the shape tools when I can when I'm making my characters. You can also use the freeform tool and draw it however you would like. I'm just going to show you how I've been making my turkeys. So here is the circle tool. Click that. Pull for a smaller head. Pull down for a larger body. Now, if you make your, for instance, if you get a circle and it starts getting over here, don't worry about it. Go ahead and fill them both in. Take your move tool and then just slide it over however you would like. To make the feathers, I also use the circle tool. And I'm going to make the feathers in shades of brown, kind of like an actual turkey. You are welcome to make whatever color turkey you'd like. I've made them with red feathers and yellow feathers and fall type, kind of like fall leaf colors. Uh, fall colors um, are fine to use as well as whatever you want to make. I'm going to go ahead and, and color that in, but move my leaf or my feather down below. And we are going to stamp these. So go ahead and stamp them several times. So however many feathers you want to make. You can have feathers up on the top so we can make a lot of feathers here. So go ahead and stamp a bunch on this side as well. So go ahead. each time you make a feather, and I'm kind of that one, I actually changed the shape of that feather. It actually looks maybe a little better than the other feathers. I go ahead and I can change their colors, make them lighter, darker, whatever I want to make here. I actually don't want them the same color as I made my turkey. Kind of blends in a little too much. There we go. And then I can use the rotate tool. See right here, and you can just drag a couple of these around, rotate them, move them up and down, however you want to do it. Usually I'll keep that one on the bottom. Whoa, I rotated my whole turkey. And sometimes that happens because they get stuck together. Now, because I don't want to have my feathers on the front, what I sometimes will do is I will cut and get rid of my the head and then the body. And I did that so that now when I fill them back in, they're in front of the feathers. So the feathers are coming out behind the turkey. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and draw some feet on the turkey. Just do a pretty simple line down, maybe like a three, sort of like that. However you want your feet. And to do the eyes, I've been making kind of some large eyes on purpose. Sort of like a cartoon style turkey. Then I'll go ahead and make another circle inside of this eye. Fill that in and stamp that as well. And then finally I change back to the white and I just make a tiny dot. So I don't even draw a circle. Let me go back and make that dot again towards the top there. Go ahead and make the beak. I've been using a triangle tool. That beak's upside down. I can do two things. I can, and remember when you go ahead and stamp like I'm doing, see how it made a second one? If it does that, you can try it again. If it keeps doing it, just go all the way back and redo the beak. So I'm going to put my beak right here. I'm going to stamp it, but I'm also going to move it down. So if it ever connects to itself and won't, move or won't rotate, then just get rid of it. I'm going to draw the waddle. There we go. Move that over a little bit closer to the beak, sort of like that. 
I like that turkey. I could have feathers up on the top part. But I'm going to keep the turkey as is, and I'm going to go ahead to the shrink. I'm not going to connect the shrink in a regular program. I'm just going to click it a couple times, or I can change that number to a higher number, and it can go down. So make your turkey as small as you possibly can. I know we spent a lot of time making the turkey and then to shrink it down where you can barely see it, but you need to do that for the maze. So we're gonna make the maze next. So we're gonna hit the plus for character, blank page, paintbrush. I'm gonna make an S maze. And you can, once again, use this to make your maze, or I've been using the square tool. I like to use the square tool and you're not going to make squares, though. So, do you see, though, if you don't make a pull down or up, but go kind of along the side, you can make straight lines. And that's what we're going to do. If you notice, there are actually big squares that have four across, four down. We're going to kind of look at those big squares on here. And I'm going to start at the bottom of the second big square. And that's where I'm going to draw my line. I'll take it right here, and I'm going to stop my line right about where there's two squares on that side of it. And what that does, it's going to let the turkey have enough space to go through the lines. So I'm going to go ahead down one space this time, and then all the way over, all the way down to the bottom, and then all the way across the page. And then if you look here again, we have one, two, and I'm going to start right here. So I'm going to go all the way over, and I'm going to stop right before I get to the second one. See, I have two left over here. And I'm going to go up one now because it's not the path, and we're going to go over here all the way up. It doesn't have to be perfect. You see, I don't have my lines perfectly straight here. There's some gaps. So there's my S maze. And you kind of can see that this turkey is going to have plenty of room to go through the maze. You don't want to have your maze where the turkey has to go through something this narrow right in here. Hit the check mark. Now we're going to grow the maze. So grow or enlarge the maze until it's nice and big there. Set our turkey here, and now we're going to make our buttons or our controls for our turkey. Hit the plus, blank page, paintbrush. Select blue, and you're going to make a blue square. Let's make it be about that size. We can always shrink it if we need to. Go ahead with the yellow. Make a up arrow. Check mark. Yeah, that's a good size. We won't even need to shrink that one. Go ahead and hit the plus again, but we're not making a brand new one. We're going to use what we already made. Hit the paintbrush, and then hit this rotate button. But don't rotate here. Take it on the corner and drag it from the corner all the way around until it's facing down. Change it to green. And click the check mark. We're going to do that with right and left. Go around to the right, right red. Mine are a little crooked, that's okay. And then we're going to do the last one that's purple. And we'll take that around all the way, make it purple. And now we have our four buttons. So let's look and see how these buttons work. So I'm down here at purple. I'm going to say when we touch purple. That's what that means. See it flashing? So when we touch purple, it's going to send a letter to the turkey. To make it easier for us to remember, we're going to hit purple letter. So the good thing about Scratch Jr., I can take it right by here, and I can drag it and drop it into the other places. Now you only do this if you want to use the same program. Now you might say, well, it's not they're not going to all be purple. You're right. So we have to click every one of them and change the color to the color of the letter. So that is blue. 
Now, where are these messages going? Who's getting them? The turkey. So turkey's going to open up four letters for four directions. None of them are orange. So if we look up here, we have a blue, a green, a red, and a purple. So that's what we're going to change them to. Blue, green, red, purple. Now all we do is go the directions that they are. So blue is up, green down, red right, purple left. So up, down, right, left. And there is one more thing. If we hit the edges, our turkey has to go back to start. So when it bumps anything, that's what this button does, it goes back to start. So this is what it'll look like if we make it big and we start hitting our buttons. Right, left, up. Let me run into something back to start. Good to begin with. Okay, this is kind of a fun program already. Not so much a game yet. So how are we going to make it a game? Well, in games, you can either run out of time, you can run into something, you could, you know, on this particular thing, we can get to the finish line. So what are the finish lines? We, how do we run out of time or make a timer? So we're going to do that. Um, we're going to make a finish line. We're going to make a timer. Timer's pretty easy. Let's just say that when we hit the green start flag, we're going to have a timer. Now, this is not 99 seconds. It is about actually 10 seconds. So for every 10, it's like one second. So we can, if we had two, it'd be like 20 seconds. We can loop it. That'd be 20 seconds. That'd be 30 seconds. If we have the three, 40 seconds, and so on. It's a little bit more than 30 seconds, about 32 seconds or so. So that would be our timer. But we have to have other pages to tell us we lost. So over here, you add a page. Hit the plus, get rid of cap. We're going to hit the background and make a solid color background. We're going to do black, maybe. And just hit your check mark. So we have the black page. Hit the ABCs. And you can type in something like game. over. So game over. Let's change the color so we don't want it to be black on black. We can't see it. So you make it very large maybe. Put it in the middle. Game over. And since we're here, we're going to make a you win page. So we go to the background. Blank page. Paintbrush. We can just color it in. We can leave it black if we like. Maybe we can have it blue. Doesn't really matter. And you're going to make it Say, you win. And you can change the color again to that. Whatever you'd like. Something that shows up nice. So you win on that page. So if we go back to our timer and hit this red button here, it goes to game over when it runs out of time. How are you going to win the game? Let's see. If we add a character, maybe a barn, maybe um, you can draw your own finish line. The barn is kind of a turkeys might run to the barn. Actually, they might run away from the barn, too. My barn's going the wrong direction, so I'm just going to bring this down and just click it one time. Barn's too big. I don't want it to hit the edge of the maze. So I'm going to bring it down and make it a little smaller, make sure it's not touching the maze. And this one says that if something bumps into the barn, it will go to the UN page. That would be the turkey bumping into the barn. Now I'm going to make a few obstacles for the turkey. I'm going to use, I think I'm going to make, put the pig. So we're going to make the piggy. And I've also used the rancher. I made him like a farmer. You can put your face into that character. There's a blank spot to add your face. You can choose anything for an obstacle. I'm going to pick the pig. 
I'm going to actually make him a little smaller. And then I'm going to program him to say that if on the green flag, he's going to just drop down forever. So he's just going to go like that. And maybe we'll just do two pigs, or a pig and a chicken, or a pig and a farmer, whatever you want. Since we had a second pig, we'll do another pig over here, and we can use that same program. But maybe we want to make one go faster or slower. So that's kind of how this would look. And now our turkey would have to go over there. Now, why does that say you win? Well, you got to make sure. See the pig touch the barn? It can't touch the barn or it will say you win. So you don't want it to do that. So we can make it a little smaller. Now I'm going to go up here. I'm going to hit play. And I'm going to see if I can get through this maze. Oh, I hit the pig. Let's go. I can do this. Come on, turkey. Oh, this was... Uh, the pig, that pig's going to be a little tricky. Now, once in a while, when you're making a program, maybe more than once in a while, you'll find out that you did, so, you did something that you can't win. So I think that's kind of what's going to happen with this little piggy here. We either might need to make him smaller, move him over a little bit, or change the speed that he falls. And so I decided to move him over a little bit, and I think I can probably get around him doing this particular way. Okay. Let him fall this time. Go. And then go to the barn, and it says you win. You might have noticed right before it said you win, it went back to start. That's because if the turkey hits into anything, he goes back to start. So that's why I did that. Now, you can put anything you like on the you win page. You can have, you know, put your other turkey back on there. Here's a turkey I made before. He's just going to do a little dance. So I'll say if we go to the you win page... He's going to do a little wobble. And then he can do a gobble gobble. It can be the you win. And another thing that you might need is a, you can see it there, I made one before. It's a play again button. And that lets you go back to start. So play again. And you can put this in the corner. And what you do here is say, if you touch it, it goes back to the first page. You need one of those on the game over page too. So use your play again button, put it on the side. It says, if you touch the play again button, then it goes back to the first page. So there we have it. I hope you have fun with this program and you're, you were able to get through your turkey maze. You can make it your own. Other things you can do here, there is another page we can make. So we can add a second level. So instead of going over to the you win after you hit the barn on the first level, you can make it go to a like a harder maze if you'd like. You can try to make your turkey even smaller. That way you can make larger mazes. Uh, so that's something that you can try and experiment with. Until next time, bye-bye.